All right, so we're here for the first round with Mike Flores's mono blue five color dragons. <laughs> as odd as that sounds. Um, well, let's hope he's playing a green or a red deck, or these main deck in case and ices are going to be super awkward. Uh, they are a necessary evil for a deck such as mono blue. You don't really have access to a whole lot of removal. And, uh,. Well, it looks like we're playing against Esper Dragons or Blue Black Control, so these in case nices won't do much of anything. Jamoka is a good card to have, but I think at this point we just need to hit our land drops. Uh, we're going to want him way later in the game. Uh, hopefully, we can draw a Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, and that's going to let us get some charge counters. We'll just play the waiting game against our opponent. Uh, cast, hopefully. Uh, Dramoka and another dragon in the same turn. This could be a pretty long and grindy match, though. I think that this version of dragons is favored against the mirror, but unfortunately, we have drawn two of our worst slash dead card against them. So, thoughts he's here. Not really sure what he's going to take. I assume dig through time. Okay, but. The, the weird thing about this deck is that it doesn't uh, <coughs> cast Dig Through Time very easily. Uh, we're going to main phase this, anticipate, we just want to make sure we re resolve it. Uh, Nullify could be good <coughs> for later in the game, but again, I just want to hit land drop, so we're going to take the Scry Land and try to find some action with that. Being able to counter his dragon later could be okay, but uh, at this point, uh, it's really important that we just hit land drops. We want to try to find a better threat than uh, Salumgar, I believe. Uh, something like Ojitai or now that we have access to all this mana, a uh, Dramoko would be pretty good as well. And we have two more lands since then, including a Scry, so we're going to bottom that. Dissolve is great. Let's just fight his digs and whatnot. Or just counter his Ojitai or whatever. One thing I'm moderately afraid of is Helm casting Ugin the Spear Dragon. Um, most of these lists play one. Uh, he could just be blue black control also, very threat light. Um, we didn't really want the Pluto Delta, but I'll actually take a Temple of Enlightenment. I don't mind it too much. Now, it's it's weird, like, I, I obviously want to hit land drops, but again, I want to make sure that I can actually do something. But usually the first person to tap out to do something in these matchups is the one who ends up losing. I would very much like to draw a Crucible. That way, if neither of us are doing much of anything, uh, I can just... I guess he's going to go for an Ojitai? Well, now I kind of want to just put this land on the bottom after I've scried it to the top, if he does cast Ojitai. Because now that I have a window to resolve something, I kind of want to go for it. So, we really want to draw an Ojitai of our own right now. Anticipate not really doing it. Well, I, let's see. I'm going to play the Haven first, just in case. Well, there's our Crucible, and we played our land like a doofus. But, uh... Hmm. We may just cast Dragon Lord Salumgar next turn for no value. It's unlikely that he's going to attack with an Ojitai and give us a window of opportunity to, um actually steal it without having a counter spell or even just a removal spell handy. So if he's not going to go for anything, well we keep drawing these uh, dissolves in a timely fashion. <coughs> kind of hoping he just havens back Ojitai and casts it again. He chooses not to, which is fine. Cool thing about Slumgar also is that if he casts Ugin and ticks up, uh, we have the ability to 
steal his Ugin and then tick down all the way. It'll exile our Solemn Guard, but it'll also kill his Ugin. I haven't used charge lands in quite a while. <coughs> Pardon me for mild misclicking. Alright, well, we seem like we're pretty well protected here. I do think that it is important that we fight over and win the war uh, involving Dig Through Time. Uh, if we do not win that war, then we are likely going to get hit with another discard spell which will take away our uh, counter spells regardless so. <clears throat> alright well Dromoka dealer these in case and ices are looking real embarrassing it's alright though we're gonna draw Dromoka our opponent doesn't have four blue mana, so he can't cast Dig Through Time and Counterspell, which is great. He can cast Odrit High and uh, a Slumgar Scorn, though. So, all right, well, we're just gonna counter this thing. Big Hair don't care. He's doing it for the full eight. <laughs> There's a potential that I lose the ability to uh, use Slumgar Scorn to its uh, full advantage uh, if he draws a discard spell, so we're going to use that over the Dissolve. And since he's tapped out, we don't even have to show him the Slumgar that he already knew about. Can't wait to draw Dramoka, and then him untap and then kill it with a removal spell. It's kind of awesome that these lands aren't legendary. It makes them uh, a lot more fun to play with. So, Well, we're going to let this resolve. I'm kind of hoping he attacks with it and doesn't have double counter spell. Because then we can actually steal it, which would be great. Not sure what I want to draw. <coughs> I guess Dromoka would be great. Although next turn Dromoka into Salumgar is that or turn after that. I think that's possible. We'll scorn. That's good. Now if he goes for a dig through time here, well, we may need to let it resolve. But he did not. And I assume he's not going to Okay, well I guess he is gonna attack. That's fine. We're going to take some damage, but we're going to get to cast Salumgar with double counterspell back up. And maybe that's good enough. Although we have to counter a bunch of counter spells as well as a bunch of removal spells, so it could be rather difficult. But we can also get our Salumgar back. Is it tilting to anybody else that Crucible of the Spear Dragon can't cast Ugin? It's pretty tilting to me, not going to lie. Alright, so we have to actually have to use uh, all of these storage counters. Okie doke. Black, black, blue, blue. Cast the Slumgar with double counterspell back up. Maybe it'll work. And if it doesn't work, we can always get it back and try again. Uh, or just cast an uh, Ugin and tick down and exile that. Though. He could potentially play another one, so there's that. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Ooh, all right. Well, now that we control a dragon, our Slumgar Scorn uh, does counter his thing, so that's great. So he's waiting for it to come into play before trying to kill it, and I guess I'll just counter spell this and hopefully dissolve the next one but he could just untap and downfall and then we're in a, a lot of trouble okie dokie
You could also just have another file tag invocation. Did it work? No, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, alright, well, that's disappointing. This game's gonna get a lot easier after sideboard when uh, <laughs> we don't have these stupid dead spells in our hand. <coughs> I suppose we could have fought over the initial Ojitai. I don't know, I feel like if I don't try to win this fight right there against, uh, his, you know, his three spells or whatever, with the two counter spells and the slum guard, then we're, we're gonna lose anyway. Since he does have the haven. I don't know. No! <laughs> oh, tilt. Mega tilt. Oh. Alright, see if this resolves. May resolve, probably won't. Getting two free cards off Ojitai is a beating. <coughs> well, it resolved. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Could mean a, a number of things. Alright, well he didn't end up turning Slumgar Scorn. He knows we have two in case and ice. Alright. I suppose if he attacks, we'll just block, trade, and then haven back the Ojitai? Because he didn't kill it last turn. I mean, I assume that he's probably just going to trade off and then haven back and cast if he can. Yeah, he has enough man to do that. <coughs> I mean, we can't really take the hit. Plus, the odds of him having like another hero's downfall is reasonable. We have a ton of havens. Uh, the Ugin, once we sack the land, we're going to be short one. Plus, we don't really want to get ours taken by a Dragon Lord Slumgar. So, there's that. Fine trading dissolve for a land. Alright, I guess first verse, same as the first. <coughs> now, if he gets back Ojitai and then cast it, we may. Well, I guess we still can't really get back Ugin. <coughs> I guess we could hope to draw land, and then if we don't, we can crack another land. Yeah. Well, we still got two mana up, so if we get hit with Slumgar Scorn, we're basically dead anyway. <coughs> Alright. You know I have two in case and ice in my hand. I don't know why you're waiting. I'm trying to look all cool or whatever. In response to your fetch land, cast my spell. Even though I know the two cards in your hand. So yeah, <clears throat> we can gamble and just get back. Like, him digging through time means he could be getting like another foul tongue invocation. So it's possible that Salumgar or sorry, it's possible that uh getting back Ojitai doesn't actually do anything. So, I think we're just going to gamble, try to draw an untapped land. There's not that many uh, that we can draw, but <clears throat> this effectively two for ones if we hit it. But Alright, well we missed, but we can hit something good. We'll just leave all our dragons in there. Well, we can take Dragon Lord's prerogative and another Haven. Guess we'll do that. Voyages in could potentially bounce his Dragon Lord, but I doubt that uh, that's what's gonna happen. 
probably just counter it or whatever. Alright, let's draw some cards. Bunch of stuff that doesn't do nothing. Great. Okay. He knows I have an Ugin, right? <coughs> I got it back. Maybe his hand is just mono dragons. And he has no way to get rid of it. Or his last card's a thought season and he's being a jerk. Nope. Alright. Where's my boy Ugin? Well, get your dragons, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I didn't think I could win. I guess he just didn't have a counterspell. If he'd had a counterspell, I'm not positive, but pretty sure he would have just cast it. Leave that Tark on top. Big fatty boom boom blocker. In case he plays another Ojutai. <coughs> Downfall on that's fine. He's going to tap out for another dig through time okay well he has a couple dragons already in the exile he keeps exile in those two ojitais and a slumgar gone alright well, we may end up actually winning this game hilariously enough I don't really want to just cast a Tarka right now. I suppose we could. We can still cast Dissolve, but the odds of him not having a removal spell for it is pretty low. I guess we have to cast it at some point. Um, we cannot get back Ojitai and cast Dissolve, so we'll just pass turn. We have two counter spells. Hopefully, they'll help us out enough. We'll charge up our Crucible, maybe Haven back, uh, <coughs> Ojutai or something. Maybe he'll cast Ugin, and then we can steal it. I kind of just want to sit. Although, I have no idea what's in his hand. It's probably just all heroes' downfalls or something. And we'll just sit. Alright, another dragon. Take it. I just want to draw a Dramoka. Give me a Dramoka shake from Arby's. That's a bad joke. It's hard not to make bad jokes when you're, uh, Playing slow grinded control matchup though. <coughs> and we'll play this. I'm not expecting to connect with it, but at the very least we can just sit back on it and be a blocker for his Ojutai. Or potentially force him to do something. Crux of fate. Yeah, we're fine with that. This deck is pretty sweet. Alright, now we got two crucibles going. We're gonna have infinite mana. This would be the kind of game slash match I would love to play in real life, because I don't have to click so much. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll fight over this. Put that on bottom. We are going to go crazy in a little bit. Let's see what he does. Puts it on bottom. Pop 
possible that I should not be waiting here. <laughs> I maybe should just be uh, casting dragons. Uh, we'll cast one. We'll, we'll save the other haven to get back Ugin just in case. We'll get back an Ojitai for now. Dude, Haven is great. Crucible is great. This deck is sweet. We need to keep that one in play so we can cast uh, Tarka. Oh no, we have the Crucible. I forget what things do. Okay, well we drew a Perilous Vault. So we'll cast that. We actually have fewer cards in our deck than our opponent. How is that possible? He's cast Dig Through Time like seven times. I wonder if he can win the game anymore if I get this Perilous Vault into play. I assume so, but maybe not. Alright, well, that was cool. I think I'm just going to cast this Ojitai. I'm going to leave open the Crucible, though. That way we can keep charging it. If he wants to burn a counter spell on Ojitai, I'm fine with that. Because all of his threats are sorcery speed, so this Perilous Vault is basically going to lock him down for a little bit. <coughs> and it's going to exile his next threat. If he doesn't kill Ojitai, then he is in trouble. Aw. Okay, fine. Alright, so now I'm not going to cast another dragon until I have like 40 charge counters on these crucibles and I have a uh, Dramoka. But when I do, boy, you better believe it. <laughs> I'm. This is one thing, it's like, I really hope that I win this game, but I also kind of hope that my opponent just runs out of time. Because that would probably be faster. <laughs> oh man, this is a doozy. kind of want to bring an Omen Speaker in this matchup, not going to lie. Alright, we'll cast this Doofus. It's not going to do much of anything except attack. So, Cost two extra mana to target, it's fine. Charge our Crucibles. This guy blocks Ojitai also, which is great. Bile Blight. Deal. Don't want to I guess giving him targets for that is kind of gross, but I mean, cards are in the deck. Not much I can do about it. He's going to get value out of him one way or another. But I am going to wait on this Haven. Uh, I have one more Haven in the deck to get back Ugin. Roka. Temple of Mystery. Alright. Let's see what we got. <coughs> there he is. There's my boy. It's, it's a, a little tilting though because uh, I know it's just going to die. <laughs> it's just going to die. There's no way. I wonder if my opponent has wind conditions left. I assume he does, but some people are weird. They change some stuff and really uh, uh, lower their wind condition count. Alright, we're going to cast this dummy. And I guess we'll also cast a Tarka. Leave open Nullify, I guess, just in case. And hope he doesn't crux me. I suppose he probably already has another crux, but maybe we'll run him out of stuff. Who knows? These in case and Isis, man. I can totally just put them on my guys, I guess. 
Maybe I should not have cast another guy. Okay, well, we can't counter that one. Nullify says, creature or aura spell. This card's great. Can't be countered. Bane Slayer Angel abilities. Opponent can't cast stuff on my turn. He accidentally exiled all of his dragons, so his haven can't get back nothing. Crux Fate kills all my guys. Tilt. Saw that coming from a mile away. There's plenty more where that came from, sir. Alright, we're just gonna play faster here. Or try to. Maybe he's not gonna let us. Alright, Nullify can't really counter anything. I honestly don't care that much about the Nullify anyway. Just because I have this Perilous Vault. Sucks that Perilous Vault exiles Perilous Vault, or else he would probably just be dead. Got hit with Ojitai like three times. He resolved like a Dragon Lord's prerogative and like four dig through times. Don't matter. Big hair don't care. Perhaps it was a poor idea to use all of my dragon thingies. Alright, well, we'll try to... Actually, we'll try to exile this one. Well, we're definitely going to exile it, but we don't even have to do it till next turn. So it buys us another turn, just in case. Uh, it's possible that our Perilous Vault is not going to resolve. Actually, it's better for us to, to do it now so we can try to play our Perilous Vault next turn. And... Now I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if he has any win conditions left. Alright, well that's actually great because we can make sure we resolve our Perilous Vault and then I don't think he can win anymore. And we don't even need to use Crucible Triggers. Or Counters, whatever. Can be countered and then you can't play stuff on my turn. What does it feel like? Oh, this is great. It's Got him in the hard lock. He's only got one Ojitai left. Maybe he has a Ugin, though, and that would be bad. Because <laughs> then we just die. We're at three. Well, we couldn't beat Ugin regardless, so. Wow, we won! <laughs> we won with a stupid in case of ice stuck in our hand. <laughs> 20, turn 25. Great. That is great. Been hanging out with Tom Ross way too much. Starting to sound like him. I just saw reasons you can get out of here. Ugin's awesome. So Dragon Lord Slumgar is kind of stinky. Tarka also pretty mediocre. The Drifting Death has... I don't know. I guess he has Hexproof, so that's fine. I kind of just want to board in some Omen Speakers and get my one damage beatdowns on. Turns off uh, his... Uh, uh, Foul Tongue Invocations too, which is actually pretty sweet, so we're going to bring those in. See if there's any other card we want to cut for the fourth one. Voyages in. Get out of here. Alright. This deck looks pretty good. 30 minute game one? I'll take it. And by I'll take it, I mean, please God, I don't want to play against S for Dragons four matches in a row. That would be tilting. Alright, back for game two. And my opponent's clock is looking a little thin. Unfortunately, that is a Haven and not a Crucible. That's when you know a card is good in your deck, is when you have Haven, which is a pretty sweet land, and you really want the other one. <laughs> I think I misspoke earlier. I think I only have... Actually, I need to, to double check on, on my uh, counts of things. Ugin, you can go to the bottom. 
We'll talk to you later, bro. I don't need you around right now. I think we're going to main phase this Anticipate. I don't think he has anything we're really afraid of onto. And I don't want to give him value out of like a a scorn. Well, I believe in this instance uh, we actually just want to hit our land drops more consistently as opposed to charging. So I think we're actually going to take Temple of Mystery over any of these other cards. Which is a little awkward because I was rooting for the Crucible earlier, but I think a Skyland is where we really want to be at the moment. Now if he just like goes turn 3 Ashiok, we're going to look real stupid. Ashiok is pretty good against the old mono blue deck. Alright, no Ashiok. We're in the clear. We don't have a dragon yet. I don't think there's any non-creature thing we're afraid of. Or any creature based thing we're afraid of. So negate versus dissolve. I think we just hold up negate so we can scry. Try to dig for another land. Sure thing, buddy. Part of me really wanted to negate that. And Dissolve is good, but lands are better. We have a couple counter spells already. If anything, we want a dragon to turn on our Scorns and Dragon Lord's prerogatives, but uh, mostly. Yeah, mostly I just want lands. <coughs> One card that. Uh, some people have been talking about for the, the sideboards of the S for Dragons deck to play against uh, the mirrors and things is um, Risen Executioner. Just a 4 mana 4 3 that never goes away. And uh, it's actually had me considering trying out Dissipates as opposed to Dissolve in some of these control decks, or at least having some sort of split. Exiling things is not usually too relevant, but I could see a, po a point where it could be. Well, maybe we should have taken that Omen Speaker, since we're probably not going to draw a land and die. Yep. Dead. Alright, well, we'll discard Perilous Vault, I guess. Stinks, because that card was pretty cool last game, but uh, it's just going to Miss a bunch of land drops and die. Yep. Alright. Well, Dragon Lord Dramoka. I think I need to hold on to him for these scorns. But honestly, we're missing these land drops, so we're probably just going to fall too far behind. There's not too much we can do about it. And he's. The, the gross part here is that he's going to cast a dig through time, likely. And. Even if I try to counter it, I guess I can go negate, but I can't really win a counterspell war next turn over a, a dragon. Alright, well, we'll just negate that. Now we don't have to discard at least, so that's good. Maybe we'll try to main phase something. I mean, we, we missed too many land drops, this is kind of bad. If he has no aggressive follow-up here, like if he doesn't go counterspell dragon land or whatever, then we could be okay. Tap land's good news for us. If he wants to cast a dragon now, I'm perfectly fine with that. Yep. Alright, we will... Actually, we're not going to reveal a dragon because he's tapped out. Alright, what do we want? A land? A land. Definitely want a land. Preferably untapped and blue. I suppose that is a bit to ask for, but alright. Tapped is not great. And again, just gotta bottom it. Gotta try to draw some more lands. We have these prerogatives. Um, if he ends up resolving his Ojitai, we desperately need uh, a land to cast Dragon Lord Dramoka to block. I'm pretty sure I put that on the bottom. Hmm. 
Yep, just running Ojitai's. I suppose we could just cast Ojitai. That seems pretty dangerous. Unlike Helm, we don't have removal spells. Been talking so much, I didn't even talk about the potential of casting Dig Through Time next turn. But all right, I guess we'll just cast it now. We don't really care if it gets countered. If he wants to fight over that, I'm cool. Anyway, want to try to hit land drops. We know he has no Jatai, so there's no reason to leave open a mana or whatever. If he wants to cast his own dig through time, that's okay too. What's not okay is if he goes find a scorn, counter our dig through time, we cast or we don't draw a land, we cast Ojatai, he has a removal spell for it, and then we die. Yeah. I guess we can just if we draw an untapped land, ugh. Right. It's a little risky because if he has a land, he can go Ojatai and Salamgar Scorn. But I f hmm. yeah, that's exactly what's happening. <sighs> yeah. Could have just held up. If I drawn a land, I 100% would have held up for. Uh, Dragon Lord's prerogative or the two counter spells. But while he was tapped out, I felt like it was a good time to try to get a threat into play. Alright. Slowly but surely. We're going to take a big old hit from this thing, but we get to exile it at least. And uh, next turn, we actually will get to exile it and hold up Salamgar Scorn for a potential follow-up play. And it exiles, so you can't get it back with Haven, so he needs to find another dragon. There's nothing that really punishes me for using the vault now, so we're just going to go ahead and use it, save time. No reason to wait till after he attacks or whatever. <coughs> we can still try to scorn. I'll try to scorn. Not sure if this is going to work. Could work. He just drew a bunch of cards. But we can take a bunch of hits from Slumgar. That's not a big problem. So we can uh, cast this Dragon Lord's Prerogative, hit some more land drops, and eventually maybe cast two big things in the same turn. First of which is Dromoko, so our second one resolves. So we're just going to go ahead and cast this, try to draw a land, so we can cast this Disdainful Stroke. And we really want to play, he's coming to play tap lands, but, alright. A little awkward, not going to lie. Okay, that was weird. Alright, well, I'll chalk that up to him not being able to win two games in 3 minutes and 42 seconds, especially considering I'm at 14, have a full grip, he knows I have Dromoka. Um, once I get Dromoka into play, the way the rest of the, like, assume, assuming that this was a live match, um, 
you know, with all the shuffling and all that stuff, it's likely I would have won the match 1-0. Um, and I I feel like that that's just going to happen a bunch in uh, in Swiss rounds with uh, this mono blue dragons deck against the Esper deck. Now against other decks, we'll have the ability to go long, but uh, our plays will be much more straightforward. We'll just like cast our dragons when we draw them, and uh, hope for the best for the most part. Counter their more important things, or use in case nice and stuff like that. But. Um, uh, how this match was going to end up was our opponent was just going to run out of time before he won two games because he still had to attack me five times with Salumgar and then uh, win another game after that. So, I don't know. Uh, I guess he just wanted to save himself some time. I apologize for the short ending, uh, but I felt like the rest of the match was pretty sweet, so we're going to keep it. Uh, we'll see you guys for a second round in just a minute.